Hey everyone, we have uh, Jackie here with me today. Uh, she's one of um, our successful students within the program. So, uh, and she has an amazing story. I wanted to bring her on to ask her some questions so you guys can um, get your questions answered, not only by me, but by someone else who joined the program. And also I, I want to, you guys to hear from someone else besides me uh, and, and see what, what it is, what, what is possible with, um, with, with being in this industry, merchant cash advance and alternative lending. So Jackie, thanks for joining, appreciate your time. I know you've been running around, but you made time for yourself and you're actually joining from a hotel room. So I appreciate it. <laughs> Happy to be here. Uh, so Jackie, so many people who join the program or who talk to me about joining, they all come from different backgrounds, but there are some commonalities. Either they uh, thought about becoming an entrepreneur or they've tried it before or or maybe they had a job for a long time, but always had their eye and, and just doing their own thing and being independent. So you kind of fit that story too. So can you tell us how you gotten to make a decision to get into this business or get in any business pretty much uh, leaving what you were doing before? Sure. Um, I have worked in the medical field for years, did hospice care and um, I, just prior to uh, joining your club, I uh, was in Florida and I have an adjuster's license. I was down there to do some adjusting for some storms and I decided to do something different. So came back to Dallas and um, I did some research. I, I knew I wanted to do something. I just wasn't sure what it was. Yeah, and I, I know it's a big deal to get your license as an adjuster. What, what is it that you didn't like about that? So, so you wanted to get into an industry like this? Well, when there's a catastrophe, uh, for instance, the hurricanes that hit last year, Harvey and uh, uh, down in Florida, um, you have to crawl under people's homes, you have to get up on the roof, and it's a very difficult time for them. It's, a, it's high stress, and um, it's just, it, it, it just was very intense. Gotcha. Yeah, I needed and to so how did you find out about the industry before you, get, before you decide to uh, join? Did you know about this, or did someone recommend that you get into this industry? I didn't know anything about it and I'm still learning, but um, I answered an ad actually. Okay. He's, um, in Craigslist of all things, I was just looking around trying to decide what I wanted to do and I answered a, an ad. And that's how you found out about this industry altogether. So prior to that, you didn't have any exposure. None, zero. But what is it that you liked about the industry that you decided to be a part of it prior to joining my program? Well, I know that their uh, businesses always need money. I had no idea that they had such a difficult time borrowing money from banks. Mm -hmm. And um, given that scenario, um, all the business that we have in the U.S., they need money. And I knew that I could find them, but I just wasn't sure how. Yeah. I mean, the product is super hot, right? It's, 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 it will never go out of fashion. The businesses, especially small businesses, they need money to grow, prosper, survive. Uh, you, you know, grow out of uh, their current situation, buy multiple businesses. So the, the product itself is super attractive. Uh, it's just a matter of, uh, you know, offering, getting in front of them and, and, and being the right consultant for them. So then you somehow came across uh, our program, maybe through one of our ads. Do you remember how that happened? I sure do. I was um, looking for different ways of uh, to find businesses that needed money. And I was looking online, asking questions. If I were, if I needed money, how would I do it? And um, I, I love YouTube. I go on YouTube all the time. So mm -hmm. I checked there and I saw you and I saw your website and I read everything and I watched all the videos at least a few times. And um, I watched some other videos and uh, I was actually in training with the company that I was going to work for mm -hmm. or with, should I say. And um, I did go through their training. It just wasn't enough. It just, they gave you the highlights and just some ideas how to market and how to find, um, find customers. And it just wasn't enough for me. I needed more. I needed okay. a little bit more structured. And you came through the training, then you decided to uh, join. Um, then then how was that different from the training that you were getting from this other company versus what you found out after you joined our training? How much is it different or what are the differences? Well, what are the main differences that you've noticed? Well, um, this is much more in depth. Um, we, we can have our, our questions answered, which is, I, I didn't expect that at all. Um, it tells us so many different ways to market, so many things. If you want to uh, 
get online or if you want to do this or if you want to do that. There's just so many options. And one of those things will fit everybody. But for me, at least three of them are going to be good for me. Okay. And so what kind of transformations that we have since you joined? So you learn about the product, you, you, you join our, our training system, you're going through it. So I know that uh, you, you funded uh, deals. So let's talk about what happened and your commissions and how did it all work out? Well, I, I found a, a client, a merchant who needed money right away. And um, I, took, I uh, submitted his application through the company I was working with and it was declined. And I thought that that was just it. I didn't know what else to do for him. I thought, well, if they're not going to do it, there's no, I don't know what else to do. Maybe wow. we'll wait three months and see if your credit gets better or whatever. And we'll try to find somebody else or not find somebody else, but maybe uh, resubmit it. And when I got into your program, it was a whole world opened up. Oh, I could do this and I could do that. And I was, it was a thrill because I didn't know that all those uh, options were available. I didn't have to stop there with uh, uh, being de um, declined. Yeah, for people who might not be familiar, so the, the, the backstory is normally when you, so when it comes to getting your training um, at being an ISO or, or, or being an alternative lending specialist, there are really few options and most of them come from the lenders themselves. Um, so the, whether they're the direct lender or, or they're the uh, large ISOs, they do provide training to people but what happens is when you get your training from them, they ask you to exclusively work with them, uh, which is okay. Uh, but the problem is that when you send deals to, to the lenders, if, if, if they do not approve it, um, then uh, the students have their own idea that that's just end all be all. That deal is done, shut dead, and you can't really do much. Well, since we're dealing, they're working in the, in the alternative uh, lending space, this is not like traditional banking. So if you go through national banks, their approval process is very similar to each other because they're highly regulated. So no one can go out of their way to approve a deal if other bank um, shut it dead and it was, it was a total no-no. In our industry, in alternative lending, that's sometimes a total opposite. You can submit a deal to three lenders and they can get a flat no. You can send it to fourth one, then it, it will be welcomed and it will be funded. So that's the problem that Jackie was having that she was, she was, you know, she generated a bunch of leads and trying to close that. And she got a no from the underwriter and she thought that, well, this is it then. This, they are, these are not fundable. Then we talked about the option of no, not really. The, the reason we teach that you have to have a portfolio of lenders for specific scenarios is that you submit it to one of them and that's exactly what you did. And so I'll let you explain what happened after that in that, in, in that you know, large merchant that you, you funded. Well, I took uh, the information in the, the blueprint and I found uh, another lender and I submitted the paper there and um, they, he was given, my merchant was given a pre-approval and um, we, we had to gather some other documents and things, but he was funded and it really came at a great time because this merchant, his oven stopped working that day and so did his air conditioning and this was a restaurant, you can't uh, run a, a place of business like that without air conditioning, especially mm -hmm. in Texas and 120 degrees outside. So, yeah. yeah, so it was really very timely too. And he got, how long did it take for him to get his money from the point that you got the pre-approval to the point that his, his bank account was funded? Well, through no fault of the lender, uh, the, the merchant, it, it took him a long time to yeah. get his documents. And I actually had to work with him quite a bit. In fact, there was a time during that time of getting his documents, I thought that he just wasn't interested anymore. And I let you know about that. And uh, I said, I'm just not going to call him anymore. And you said, no, you should call him and call him, check on him often. And so I did. And I, I found once I did talk to him, I saw that there was a big misunderstanding between us both. He thought I was doing something and I thought he was doing something. And what it just, it ended up, it worked out. I finally had to go to his place of business and have him sit down with them and get his documents for him because he just- Yeah, I remember that conversation very vividly with you um, because that's usually what happens because you feel like that you're bothering the customer because they already heard from you and you don't want to be this pesky salesperson just, just you know, badgering him with the phone calls. But on the other end, merchant thinks that you're working on something because they don't really know uh, the structure of, of the approval process. And they, since it's especially if they try to get an approval from a bank, they know there's a very lengthy process. You send documentation, 
someone sends it to the underwriter, uh, you know, somewhere else in totally different state, you wait for an answer, it can take weeks. And that's what was happening in your case too. He thought that you were working on something and you thought that you, you, you might be offending him by calling him too much. But when you just reached out to him, you find out that he was dealing with a totally different problem at his business and still needed the money very much and was counting on you for that to happen. <laughs> Exactly. Um, so once you guys resolved that, he got the money in your account and uh, he was happy, obviously. He's yeah. a happy camper. He took care of the problem that he had and um, you were happy, but you really was not, you were not sure how much you were going to get paid out of this deal, right? So what I, did I, I what, had an idea, but I had an idea, but yeah. I know that you had bonuses and things like that too. Mm -hmm. So what did it uh, total up to be after all said and done? What was your total commission from this deal? Well, one was uh, the first uh, commission, it was 6,800 and change. Wow. And then um, about three weeks later, I received a bonus of over $1,600. Okay. So that's what, close to a little more than $8,000 on that deal? So what has changed? Um, it's actually then? almost 9,000. I'm sorry. You're right. Yeah. So since then, I know you made some major changes. One of them is you decided to quit your job, right? Which is a, a very courageous behavior. <laughs> How did you get to that decision? Because I know that's not an easy uh, decision to make, relying on a business that you recently started, but obviously you see the potential. What was going through your mind and why did you make that decision? I quit my job because um, I was working nights and I had to. I, I wasn't sleeping enough. and. An, I wasn't able to spend enough time working on this and that's what I really want to do. Okay. So you found out that you wanted to work on this more. Yeah. Perfect. So right now you're focusing on this uh, full time. You, you made the transition, obviously you're, uh, you're your own boss and then, uh, you know, helping businesses out. So we have people, a good percentage of people who come through um, the webinar, the free training or the videos. I have a lot of videos, as you know, um, some, of, some of them immediately join, some of them have questions. Obviously, we live in the age of internet and there are, there are people out there who claim to be the gurus and experts and things that they're not. And people naturally are on the fence because they see this character online, uh, let it be me or another person, they can't really verify if, if a person is a real deal or not. Um, that's why I wanted to bring you on. Obviously, you are a real person <laughs> and you, you are funding deals. So what would you say to someone who might have their questions and naturally doubts? I'm never offended on anything like that, but what, what would you tell someone? What, what would they be getting if they join the program? If they, if, especially if they're committed to being in this industry. If, if they're still like, they're not sure if they wanna do this, that's a whole different story, but they wanna be in the industry, but they're still doubtful whether they should do it, uh, get the support from, from my training or not. What would you tell that person? Oh, I would absolutely, I would have paid a lot more for this too. I don't want to say that too loud, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, I just, it, it's, it's meant the difference between A and Z. Um, I'm sorry, tell me the question again. Yeah, so someone who already made up their mind about starting this industry, right? If yeah. someone is comparing one industry to another, that's a whole different conversation, but they made up their mind, but they're not sure if they should join my program or they should just go on and, you know, um, ha have a shotgun approach and try to figure it out themselves. What would be the comparison? What would your recommendation be to that person? I did try to figure it out myself and, and um, I do have resources. And I can tell you that it's, there's a big difference between you know, trying to find all the things that you need and the resources and the things that work on your own. Just, you, know, you can do that. It, it'll take a lot of time and it'll take a lot of energy and there's no telling how much money you'll spend versus joining or, or becoming a part of this. It's, it's like we're a group and um, the difference, I, I mean, I can remember watching your videos and thinking, yeah, he sounds pretty good, but yeah, I mean, what if he just sends me like a piece of paper and it's got some instructions on it or something? <laughs> I, you don't know if it's got, if it's going to be a ripoff or not. Right. And it took me a while. It did. It took me a while. But one of the things that I knew uh, was going to work, you used your own strategy on me <laughs> and it worked. And uh, so I knew that you were good. I just, I, you know, I wanted to learn what you were doing or how you were doing. So um, I, I can say that I would definitely, I would, I would have paid more for this. I've told my own friends about this. I have friends that see me doing this and they, they're interested in doing it. They, they want to wait a little bit. They're still on the fence, but they're saying, well, are you going to let me go through his training? Oh no, they have to sign up too. Because it's, <laughs> It's a whole different world. I mean, it's almost like you're holding our hand through things, the people that need it. 
Um, there are some people in our group that, um, like myself and a few other people, we chime in quite a bit because we have a lot of questions. And then there are the others. I don't know how much they might email you or anything, but you get back to us. And I, I really didn't expect the one-on-one -on -one that you, you provide for all of us. And that's been a big deal for me. I, I wouldn't have funded that deal in particular had you not have gotten back to me. I would have just let that go. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, I, that this is a passion of mine, as you know, and I, I want to see people succeed because I've been through the same process. I had a corporate job and I was making pretty good money, uh, but then I was not happy with the amount of hours I was putting it in and I wasn't making decisions on what would happen to my career if someone let me go a couple of years later or if I didn't, if I wasn't in line with the decision making process of the business that I was working under which is what happened. I, did, I had disagreements with the ownership, but that did not make a difference because I was one of the 3,000 employees they had at the time. So uh, they, they, there was no way they would hear my voice. So that, and I made a transition and I know the fear is involved with that and how much frustration people might go through. Sometimes sleepless nights decisions are important, but at the end of the day, I want everyone to um, do what feels right. And this is a great product, very lucrative and businesses do need it. Unfortunately, there are not enough number of people who do it the right way. Uh, people sometimes, if, especially if they go with what they read online, or there are a lot of um, resources created by um, lenders who just want you to submit your paper through them. That doesn't reflect the truth. When someone starts the industry, they think that they need to be uh, a type of Wolf of Wall Street guy or, or someone who's telemarketing out of their uh, basement and just, you know, dialing 300 times a day to badger people and take advantage of them. This is far from it. Um, starting a business is very difficult and you are, if you're passionate about helping people, these small businesses need funding. And uh, especially after 2008, they're not getting the funding they need from their banks that they, they've been trusting for many, many years. And it, it, it might not be the bank's fault. I don't really know how the mechanics work, but they can't get the funding they need. And, and the, uh, the programs under alternative lending allows people to do that, right? And when you become a consultant for them, uh, they just welcome you. And as you know, uh, it doesn't take a lot of clients to, to create a healthy lifestyle within this because people come back and get more funding. So there's there a lot of referrals involved, repeat customers and things like that. Uh, so it's a matter of choosing that or choosing to go back and do what you're doing, although you might not be happy. What I see is, a lot of people are doing things just to just to make money, although although they're whether they're happy or not is, is secondary because they need, they're in the survival mode. And I want to make sure that we, we put together something. And it's not just me, as you know, we have veterans in the group who jump in and help out. Um, that's the only time that I, I've seen this in the merchant cash advance industry in the years that I've been. Usually, if you look at outside of our community, people are like taking each other's deals, uh, even within the same company. I have large clients that sales reps just grabbing deals from each other's you know, uh, desk and calling on them and closing within the same company. And we have veterans who are just helping each other out and helping you close deals and Renee and a bunch of other people. Uh, so that's why I wanted to make sure that it is clear uh, that our intention is to help people build a business, not just share a couple of closing strategies or do this and it will work and things like that. No, this is a comprehensive program for people who want to build a business. Uh, and and I, I appreciate you joining um, to me today to, to help people kind of see that. And I know that you're working really hard, uh, even if when you're away, you have your computer with you and, and, and kind of you're dialing in and making things happen and plugging yourself into the system. Um, so what's next for you? What's your goal within the next 30 to 45 days to accomplish by utilizing the system that we have in the training? Well, actually, um, I have gone through the modules several times. Mm -hmm. And sometimes when I'm just driving, I listen to them. I listen to our training calls because I always pick up something. And um, I, I would like to set a goal for myself between four to six deals a month as far as um, working uh, to, to find clients, merchants. I, I think that um, I'm going to be utilizing two or three of your strategies. And mm -hmm. that's what I really love about your program. I mean, it is comprehensive, like you said. It's not just, a, well, this is what you do and this is what you say. It's a whole program. It's from beginning to end. And it's, and you even, I mean, you you give us more content. There's so much more than I expected, honestly. It's, it's a good program. 
And what do you think about our Facebook group? I know when you first joined, we did not have that. So you're one of the yeah, members of the Facebook group. Uh, and I, I love it myself because there's just so much going on. But what, did you, did you uh, benefit from, from that? I mean, Absolutely. Members? Absolutely. I can jump up there and ask questions. And if you're not there right away, somebody else that knows will, or people just chime in. And I think we're all trying to help each other. It's not, it's nothing more than we're just all trying to help each other to do the right thing. And it's not just a trying to, to sell something and just trying to make money. It's actually, we're trying to help people. We're trying to help businesses when they need help. There are other groups on Facebook I've noticed that are, they're a little bit different than this one. And I, I just assume not even go on that page anymore, those pages. But yeah, this this one, it, it's a good one and it's, it's honest. And there are some things that you taught us that I don't know that other people would learn maybe on their own, maybe when it's too late. You've taught the, I don't know what you call it, when it, the things that you're supposed to do and the things that you could get away with, but you better not do because this will happen. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of that too. And I appreciate that. And that only comes from somebody who has experience and, and like yourself, who's, who's been in this business a while or by being in your business, in the business a long time and making mistakes or seeing other people do it. Oh yeah, that's the best learning. Uh, just you make a ton of mistakes, <laughs> you face the consequences and you teach yourself, well, yeah, let's not do that again. Yeah, I'd, uh, like, I'd rather learn from other people's mistakes. I don't play that's it. Yeah, yeah. And you know, just like you said, you can't, you, at some point, if you give it enough time, you can figure it out. Uh, but it, it, why? why? Why would you do it yourself, right? The, the most successful people, um, Jeff Bezos, Warren Buffett, Bill Gates, Tony Robbins, they all modeled someone else uh, because it just shaves off many years of failures pretty much. You will still fail at things, but not at the proportion that you would if you were to do it by, self, by yourself. That's how everything is built. So that's what we're trying to emulate here. Uh, just, we have a ton of resources and uh, this is gonna be seen by the members as well. And for those, I want pe more people to be plugged in and ask questions. Honestly, that's the only way I know that people are actually using the system because there's no way that I can cover everything 100%. Uh, so if you're going through a specific situation, you're gonna naturally have questions. So uh, that, that's kind of my measuring stick. More questions we have, happier I get because I know something is gonna happen out of those questions. Oh, so yeah. I'm gonna fund something. But uh, I, don't want, I know you're very busy, so I don't wanna hold you long. I appreciate you doing this uh, with me today. Um, so you, I'm, I'm sure people are, will benefit from this. Uh, this will be posted uh, in our, on our YouTube channel. Um, so yeah, you, with any questions, someone who, whoever is watching this, uh, you can definitely ask your questions and get back to us. There's going to be a link below this video. Uh, but um, Jackie, thank you again for being with me today. Thanks, Oz.